what is up guys welcome to today's video today we're going to show you how to replace the water pump on this 2019 gmc acadia with a 3.6 now this is the new body style i believe this is from 2017 and up um, the older style which is like 2012 to 2016 is a little bit different um, you have to move the move the fuse box out of the way so this one's a little bit different so if you have the 2017 and up water pumps leaking which is a common issue stay tuned okay so to start off we need to remove the like the air box that goes here which i already removed and let me show you how i did that okay so to take off the air box I, I decided to take it all in one piece you can take off this if you want and then that but i think all together it's fine we have a 10 millimeter bolt here we have a vacuum line here that just has a clip and you pull it out there's another another um intake or like a vacuum line that goes here so seven, seven millimeter bracket here um seven millimeter here also or you can use a flathead screwdriver you have uh, phillips screws all the way around and then the mass airflow sensor you just disconnect it and the whole thing you can pull it out this one it only has like rubber grommets it has one two and then one down here three this one just pulls straight up which goes here so you have one two and three and you pull this right up next thing to do is going to be to take off the actual motor mount we have three 18 millimeter bolts and two 50 millimeter bolts that are going to the bottom. First thing we gotta do is jack up the engine a little bit. Make sure you guys use like a wood block in between the jack and the oil pan. And then you remove these three 18 millimeter bolts and then you have two 15s on the sides. And then just, um, you should be able to jack up the engine just enough to give you enough wiggle room to actually remove the uh, motor mount, just like so. Next thing is going to be to take off the mount where the motor mount is, gets bolted onto. You have two 13 millimeter bolts and then two 18 millimeter bolts. The two 18 millimeter bolts are pretty deep in there, like they're very tight. And those are the ones that actually go into the head itself. And then you have the two top ones that are 13 millimeters. The ones that you might want to get like a breaker bar or something is going to be for the 18 millimeters that are going to go on the sides on the head also be careful with this uh, sensor here this cam type precision sensor uh, make sure you do disconnect this so we don't break it apart something that i forgot to record but after taking off this um, mount here or this bracket we're gonna have a better visual of the water pump and we want to take off the four 10 millimeter bolts that hold the water pump pulley before we actually take off the belt so once you see me here take off this uh, bracket itself you'll see the water pump and it has four 10 millimeter bolts we want to get to that before we take off the belt uh, with a 10 millimeter um, socket or ratchet 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 and ratchet whatever you have whatever it is easier for you put those four 10 millimeter bolts on the side after that then we go ahead and, re and remove the belt from the tensioner now to remove this tensioner we have two 50 millimeter bolts we have one right here and one that goes from the bottom and then we also have to take off the idler pulley which is also a 50 millimeter bolt with this mirror here we can have a better view of where the water pump was leaking from and here is our tensioner of those two 50 millimeter bolts and now we can go ahead and start working on the 10 millimeter bolts that go all around the water pump um, that hold it down i also recommend using two hose clamps to kind of uh, put it crimp down on the two radiator hoses that way we don't lose a lot of coolant or we don't spill a lot of coolant it'll just be easier on the way back that way we don't have to burp out the system which will have to burp out the system anyways but it won't be as hard what i like to do here now is um with like a bigger ratchet just kind of go around and break loose all the bolts and then i'll go back and get them all out whether it's by hand or with a smaller ratchet also we have five four or five bolts that are actually shorter than all the other ones but if you buy a chevy or a dealer a uh, water pump or a GM water pump um, they will be marked with an X where the smaller bolts go and those are the bolts that you want to put in first and here is the new water pump and you can clearly see the X's where the shorter bolts are gonna go we have one two three four it just makes it a lot I'm not sure if the aftermarket one has it but I know the GM one does and then I like to clean the whole, the surface of the water pump where it's gonna go into the side of the block, uh, just with a rag and a little bit of brake cleaner, so I can make sure I get all the coolant out of there. And then we're gonna seat the water pump down. I'm gonna put the first of five or four shorter bolts 
and then the rest um, the other longer ones and then I'm gonna tighten them by hand and then I'm gonna come back and um, kind of retighten everything with a bigger ratchet just remember these are 10 millimeter bolts aluminum bolts going into a aluminum um, housing so they don't go that tight just kind of remember how you took them off how tight they were kind of put them the same way but these are 10 millimeter bolts so they are not really that tight and then after going back and retying everything I like to clean everything like the the surface or the top of the water pump with brake cleaner and I do that that way there is no residue of cooling because then it'll kind of make it seem like there is a leak and also that way after we're done with everything and you turn everything back on to just double check that there is no leaks or anything else so just clean up everything else I would say brake cleaner but just clean up everything at the end and after this we are pretty much done just work your way back uh, put your pulleys back on your idler your tensioner um, put the, the the pulley for the water pump on with the four bolts put your belt on and then come back and tighten up those four uh, bolts that hold the, the pulley down all right guys so here we are we are done put everything back like I said just the bolts that go there 10 millimeter that goes right here and then we have that hose that goes right here and then we have one more vacuum line here this one here so put all these back on now don't forget top off your coolant um make sure you burp out the system but that is how you change the water pump this is actually a 2019 gmc acadia 3.6 all right guys so that is it that's how you replace the water pump on this 3.6 gmc acadia from 2017 and up i hope this video video was informational to you guys and as always don't forget to thumbs up subscribe hit that bell for me share the channel i will catch you guys in the next video thank you for watching and have yourselves great night